Bonjour, Paris. consider ourselves to be collectors of experiences. We wanted every experience possible in Paris, so we decided to begin our trip with some shopping at the famous Van Vez flea market. Porte de Van Vez has everything from vintage flapper dresses to vinyls. We had so much fun shopping and chatting with the merchants. So we just walked from the flea market to the Eiffel Tower. Ooh. Our favorite way to immerse ourselves into a new city is by walking everywhere. You can really get a feel for the people, the fashion, and the culture by exploring on foot. We continued our journey over to the famous Pont des Arts. Although the 45 tons of love locks were removed by the city, romance still lingers in the air. The Bouganis are nearby, so we ventured over and admired the different merchant stalls. We had to check out 59 Rivoli. This is an inspiring art gallery we recommend to everyone traveling to Paris. 59 Rivoli houses 30 artist studios that are open to the public. 15 are permanent studios and 15 are dedicated to residencies between 3 and 6 months. It's a space for viewers to freely see and experience art. The exhibits are always collective and last between two weeks and one month. This was a highlight in our trip. Approached, we made our way back to our Airbnb in the Marais. We highly recommend staying in this area on your next trip to Paris. It's a hip neighborhood that's easily accessible and is filled with high-end fashion, art, thrift shops, trendy bars, and lots of veg food options. So after a big day of wandering around the city, we are about to go out get some drinks and listen to some live music. I'm really excited. We might also hit the dance floor. Taryn, are you ready? Yeah, I just finished getting ready. Okay. We're going to La International. It should be a lot of fun. Uh, it's live music until 11 and then dancing starting at midnight. So we'll let you know how it goes. We popped into our friendly neighborhood bar, Leroy de Pique, for an Aperol spritz to start our evening out. That's where the filming stopped, though. We didn't film our wild night out, and we will leave it to your imagination as to what happened. Day two in Paris, and we just got to the Louvre. There are so many reasons to visit the Louvre. The art, the history of the palace, the architecture. A few highlights from our visit were the Apollo Gallery, the Red Rooms, the Michelangelo Gallery, and of course, the Mona Lisa. The Louvre nourished our creative sides and transformed our imaginations with its collection of 35,000 works of art.
were pretty overwhelmed. It was amazing. It Just was so beautiful. So beautiful. So many crazy pieces. Some really, really scary ones too. Yes. But overall, absolutely stunning. You definitely have to come if you come to Paris. And now it's kind of raining, so it's a little cold, and we're thinking we're gonna grab a cafe to warm up. You can't have too many cafes in Paris, so <sighs> let's get one. <laughs> Cloud Cakes is a completely vegan cafe with croissants that taste like buttery clouds. It's a must on any trip to the Marais. After we finished our snacks, we ventured out to do some shopping. So we're on our way to the Mary Celeste for cocktails. For a drink. We just finished up a lot of shopping got out with one thing each. <laughs> lots of trying on and lots of meeting nice people. Yay! La Mary Celeste is a neighborhood hotspot. It's the perfect spot to socialize and drink crafty cocktails with clever names. So hard to find. We wanted to try the array of vegan options that Paris has to offer. So for our very late night meal, we made our way to Bodai Vegan for some incredible Vietnamese and Southeast Asian food. The atmosphere of the spot is cozy and comfortable and the food was incredible and reasonably priced. Our dinner was complete with dessert and conversations with the friendly staff. On our walk back to our Airbnb, we stopped to look at the city lights sparkling over the Canal St. Martin. We spent our day thrifting and walking around the Marais. We picked up some afternoon snacks at the vegan shop Monopicerie Paris. We purchased a variety of delicious vegan cheeses, kimchi, crackers, and a few chocolates. This spot is a must visit for afternoon treats and groceries if you're in the Marais. In the evening, we bundled up and took the metro to the Tuileries Garden Christmas Market. <laughs> The Tuileries Garden Christmas Market is the largest and liveliest Christmas market in Paris, complete with glittering views of the Eiffel Tower and seasonal delights. We ate roasted chestnuts, made friends, and braved a ride on the Ferris wheel. Seeing the city lit up surrounded by holiday magic was an experience that we'll never forget and one of our most cherished memories. <laughs> I'm terrified. <laughs>
guided by the magic of Paris, we made our way over to the Eiffel Tower. We walked over this famous bridge and stood in front of the Eiffel Tower and watched it shimmer in the moonlight. We took the metro back and had a late dinner at the Riz Riz. It's 100% vegan, gluten-free, and organic. They have an eclectic menu from which we ordered an appetizer and two savory wholesome mains. Our favorite dish was the dragon curry. We just had the most delicious meal. So good. Riz Riz is incredible. If you're in the area, definitely stop by. Yes. And now we're gonna go home, cozy up, read our mysteries, and go to sleep, because tomorrow we're going to the Musée d'Orsay early. <laughs> yes! What a day! Everything felt like magic. It was so beautiful. Eiffel Tower, and <laughs> everything. everything. <laughs> I think we're finally getting used to the time change as well. Yes. So we're feeling a bit better. Jet lag is real, but day three, that's when you're doing good. Yes. <laughs> see you in the morrow. Yes, see you in the morning. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on the first half of our Paris adventure. Please check out the second part of our trip in our next video. Au revoir.